Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm with a headphone review. These are the Sennheiser MM50 IP headphones. I've had these for a while now, and they really have become my fallback headphones. Anytime I need headphones, I'm in a car, I'm going on a little trip, I just throw these in my bag, and they work very well. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the design. First of all, these were designed with the iPhone in mind. So they have a microphone, and the microphone itself is pretty good. It's not the best, but it definitely gets the job done. If you're standing next to something extremely loud, like an airplane taking off, you'll have some issues, but just normal usage, you won't have any problems. Also, what's good about this, like I said, it was designed for the iPhone, so all your clicking functions that the standard Apple iPhone headsets have, you know, you'll have also. So, double click to move forward a track when you're playing, when you're listening to music, one click to answer a call, click to end it, again, click to start music, click to end your, to pause your music. It's all there in these headphones, and it makes it really quite nice. But going back to the design, as you can see here, the right headphone is much longer than the left. At first, I was wearing them like this. And, you know, I was I thought that the reason it had all this extra cord here was just so they could have this short and it would be close to your the microphone would be close to your your mouth when you're talking. But later I realized this is supposed to go around your head. Hold on, I don't want to pull it out. The other one out. It goes around the back of your neck, goes into your ear on that side. The microphone's still in a nice spot f to get all your your voice when you're talking on the phone, but you don't have all that clutter and all that wire in front of your face. So that was really an interesting design choice by Sennheiser, uh, and I, I just really I like how they did that. Now we'll talk about sound. We'll talk about what's included in the box. What's not included, rather, is a case. You know, it doesn't. It's not really a breaking point for me throwing it in a little plastic bag or in my pocket. Is, is perfectly fine, but it would have been nice if they just thrown a case in here. This is a $100 uh, headphone set, and although that's not nearly close to the high price on the uh, audio spectrum, it still would have been nice if they threw in some sort of case. But what you do get in the box is little pieces that go into your ear. They have three sizes, small, medium, large. So pretty much whatever ear you are, you'll be you'll find something that fits nicely in your ear. These are sound isolating. Now they're not the best. That's not that's one of my problems with it. They're not awesome. If I'm in a car ride, I can I can and I pause my music, I can hear what the other people are saying and even if I have the music, I can sort of hear that they're having a conversation and if I was focusing on them, I could follow their conversation. If I'm focusing on what I'm listening to, I don't have a problem. So just something to keep in mind. And that, you know, that could be a pro for you, depending if you don't really want to be totally isolated from the outside world, this could be a pro for you. And it really does give you a safety feature. So you're not totally blindsided by what's going on around you, but just something to keep in mind. Now, as for the sound quality itself, because these are headphones, sound quality was really, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I suppose it was a little bit bass heavy and that can sort of, impede some of the music you're listening to but I thought it sounded good and for stuff that's bass heavy it really sounds great like the bass is right there you're listening to it in person so th th these are really the quality coming out of these is really good now again I said this is a about around a hundred dollars from their website um, and I think it's worth it to purchase it if you don't have that money of course you're not gonna go out and spend it uh, but if you're look but you know, if you spent $200, $300 on your device, it's worth it just to spend, you know, the extra $100 and get superb or pretty or really good superb compared to the default headphones. Superb uh, audio quality on the go in a really lightweight package. It fits nicely and comfortably in my ear. And again, they have different sizes for your ears as well. So again, the Sennheiser MM50 IP headset, I definitely have to give a review. Thumbs up. Overall, it's really good. Again, there's a little, it's a little bass heavy, and the sound isolation isn't as nice as I would have wanted it to be. But again, for some people, that could be a pro. So again, uh, Sennheiser.com is where you can find more information about this product. I really like it. Again, recommended it. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, I suggest you subscribe at youtube.com slash one for more reviews similar to these nice headphone reviews here. Also, you can follow me on Twitter for exclusive content so you know this video is coming. And check out my blog at michaelsherlock.com if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.
Take care, guys.